Things are looking a little brighter for Venezuelans. Unfortunately, they have had to move to Panama to do that. More than 45,000 of them, that is, are moving there in a bid to escape the country's political and economic turmoil. Nitsa Soledad Perez met with Venezuelans who are now part of Panama's society. Roberto Arias is an international commerce expert turned baker. One day, analyzing a U.N. report on the flux of foreign investments in Latin America, I realized that Panama had a really promising forecast. So he decided to go to baker school in Venezuela and move to Panama and open a bakery called Los Venezolanos. From international affairs to preparing cachitos, the Venezuelan version of a croissant, Roberto is a proud owner of this bakery, or the informal Venezuelan club of Panama City. Panama has become an exit route to many Venezuelans, escaping the political turmoil and insecurity that have plagued their land. More than 30,000 of them have established residency in the Central American country, and another 200,000 split their time between the two nations. They feel so at home in Panama that they even have their own newspaper, El Venezolano, the Venezuelan. This small business dominated by female power distributes 10,000 copies of its newspaper every Friday. We came here to find a better future. As a consequence, we do not agree with the political process that our country is living. It is a newspaper that in order to grab readers, it needs to have an editorial line that pushes for change. While they hope and work for change, they also invest. Venezuelans own about 280 companies in Panama involved in banking, catering, insurance, food, and gastronomy. Panama is more than plan B for Venezuelans. It has become a nation that they feel very comfortable calling it a second home. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CCTV, Panama City.